Hi everybody, I just wanted to do a quick video about the time it takes for loot and items to despawn on your private community servers or the time it takes for loot to change because what happens a lot of the time when, when we're editing on our files um, you'll be editing say the types.xml file um, you'll, you'll see the lifetime value and the lifetime value of, of an item is how long it should hang around on a server once it's spawned in before it despawns as well. And you'll probably go, all right, okay, so that's good. So they're, they're quite long at the moment. This is 1.09 files that haven't been changed, um, but they're making them shorter. But so for example, if we were to say, look at like the AK-74, at the time of making this video, um, if an AK-74 spawns in on a server, it hangs around for uh, 172,800 divided by uh, 60 seconds gives us that many minutes divided by 60 minutes gives us 48 hours. So. An AK-74 assault rifle would hang around for two days before it just despawns. Now, I know these figures have changed. There's, there's been some updates, but the, the idea is the same. And then what will happen is you'll maybe leave your server for like a week and you'll come back and say damaged weapons will still be there. And you'll be like, well, where are these? Or maybe you'll do something like you'll change your, uh, change your server so that uh, everything that spawns in spawns in pristine or um, say your your assault rifles as in this case uh, say your AK-74 should spawn in pristine and they should spawn with a magazine that we've got the bullets in and you'll leave it a week and you'll come back and you'll still find these old rifles hanging around and you'll be thinking well they should have disappeared ages ago even if you were using these 1.09 figures you know 48 hours two days more than two days has passed why aren't why haven't they disappeared why hasn't the central loot economy that daisy uses to, to control loot why hasn't it hasn't it made them disappear and the answer is in your globals.xml file so if you look in your globals.xml file you'll probably see things like um uh, time penalty zombie max count spawn hopping all this sort of stuff but also the really important one is here, idle mode countdown. And so what Bohemia Interactive did was they introduced an idle mode for the servers. And what this means is that when the last uh, player leaves your server, after 60 seconds, the central loot economy, the thing that's driving the spawning and the despawning of items, stops. In effect, the server goes to sleep. So it doesn't matter then how many days, weeks, or months pass. Unless a player is on your server, the central loot economy isn't going to be getting rid of those damaged items. It isn't going to be getting rid of those items that you don't want anymore. It isn't going to be spawning in the new items that you want, um, you know, weapons that spawn in with magazines, that sort of stuff. And especially if you've got a low population server, where maybe you've, you know you might have times where you might have two or three days where people don't go on it, then this really does change things about how loot spawns and despawns in your server. It doesn't cycle in the same way. Um, you also have idle mode startup. Um, I think you just leave that. That just means obviously when it starts, it starts up after one second. Um, I wouldn't play around with that. But the one I would probably play around with and change if you want to is the idle mode countdown. So at the moment, what happens is sixty seconds after the last player has left that's when um the uh the server sort of goes to sleep if you like so you might want to change it instead of for one minute you might want to change it to you know uh, two hours you might want to change it to eight hours you know you might want to change it to 24 hours so actually the server keeps churning away for a day if nobody else comes back then um you know then uh, then fair enough the, the server can go to sleep and it can stop spawning stuff now the startup is probably do when when a, when a new player comes back on how fast before the central loot economy starts firing up again now you may might say well why have they done this what was the point behind this well quite simply it's to uh, save power I think it's, it's kind of a green thing to do it's an environmentally fr friendly thing to do because i know you pay for your private servers you know um 
But the idea that you, you've you've got these thousands of servers all over the world that are playing Daisy, where the central loot economy, the program, is churning away, spawning and despawning things like zombies and guns and food when nobody is on that server. And every time a server has to do something, it's using a little bit of power, isn't it? So if you can put the server sort of to sleep a little bit, you know, so it stops working so hard, so it's using less processor power, using less memory, it's going to use less electricity. So there we go, idle mode countdown. Make that a lot longer. Make it like 6,000 is what I would probably do, you know, 10 hours. Um, and then uh, that won't affect your central loot economy quite as much because it will mean that things will have a chance to go through. Okay, so hopefully that's helpful. Um, I know it's a little bit special for that one, but if it has been, make sure you uh, say so in the comments down below. If you enjoyed the video, hit like, even if you want to see more of the same, press subscribe, and of course, I'll see you again soon.